Hello guys and welcome to Usitility. Today is special we are on the way to discover how to launch and play Bullet Echo on PC. As you can see you are displaying it on your screen. We will be able to efficiently download and install Bullet Echo so that we can play this game on a Windows desktop or laptop with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So without further ado, let's go buddies. First of all mates, to start we need to launch our main browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type anything, simply because I added a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We landed on this page on our own website of Usitility, in which we have a nice precise demonstration on how to download and install Bullet Echo on laptop or computer. We scroll down a little bit and then click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we reach the site of LD Player. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to get access to this game Bullet Echo on PC. As you can discover from here we get several pros of using this emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the Bullet Echo by simply clicking on this button download Bullet Echo on PC that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on that button. And the download action takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. Okay, then we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the system. We answered yes. I minimize the web browser to view the installation software considerably better. The installer is pretty simple. It contains a couple of choices. Install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does. We basically just click it. And we discover that we display here the path in which the emulator is going to be put in. If we would like to change this folder we have to click on this browse, option. So we choose another folder and install the emulator wherever we desire. I will keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. And I just click on install. Now, before beginning installing this emulator, it is also possible that it'll show us several application deals to put on on the PC. Because I do not desire any of those software programs, I just simply press many times on the reject button. Now, there it is. The install commences and it is going to commence together with the download of those MB which are shown on our computer screen. As you download it, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your type of access to the web and depending on the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Now they are going super fast. The download is finished, and so right now it continues on with the setup part. The installation requires a little bit more or less time based on the strength of your hard drive. The more robust it's actually, the shorter the software installation time and vice versa. If we join the download and install step it usually takes quite a while, so be patient. It is already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been launched immediately. As you can see, down here, there's a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it comes to the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. In reality, the emulator was already started, there for the first time. So LD Store is immediately started, which is actually a sort of Google Play. This is simply not the most correct solution to set up the video game, therefore I will not endorse it, simply because quite often the LD Store installs an obsolete version of the Android game. I am about to reveal to you the way to set up the Android game though using Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we will have to begin doing is to navigate to the computer's desktop by simply clicking the software icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we continue, as you can see now, it has made a couple of software icons right here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player app icon will be one we're concerned with. At any time when we would like to run Bullet Echo on the PC, we twice click the specific software icon and as a result start the emulator. The LD multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even nearly anything like that. Basically, it's an app icon that we would very likely never utilize. Let's perform the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. To do this we will browse there to System Apps, we click on. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. In this case we need to log on. At this moment as soon as we're right here, we have to execute the next phase that is compulsory. Therefore mouse click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It may in some cases get stopped at, checking info, and so it isn't going to continue. If so, you could attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to almost certainly be sorted out. Now we shall type our email and password. 
The email address needs to be a Gmail email address and its associated password. For instance you can utilize the same exact email address you are using at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I will provide my info and I will return after I have done it. That's it. Details typed in. Discover Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. We must consent to all of them by just clicking, I agree. Next, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You might keep it selected it's going to create a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize this option if you want. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play is presented as favorite choice and immediately. In case that the Google Play just isn't started automatically and you have no clue how to run it by yourself, I tell you how to do it now. Firstly is to proceed to the emulator desktop by clicking on this app icon marked in green color. At this moment we navigate to the system apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Okay, I am there inside of Google Play. What we are going to accomplish right now is go here to, search for apps and games. And we're going to do a search for Bullet Echo. Currently there we get it, we can pick the first result. Here we access to the video game. Let's quickly mouse click right here on the install, link that I'm presenting now in green color. And it will initiate the setup. At this time it would download and install the game. It typically takes a little while or perhaps it could also be amazingly quickly. It all is going to depend on our connection to the internet. It says of now completed installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking the following button that I'm showing in green, so that you can launch Bullet Echo for the very first time. We are currently on the emulator desktop, then we're preparing to simply click that brand new Bullet Echo software icon that has been provided. The video game is started for the first time. Now there we get it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of that emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the max, we should activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This is simply the very first one, we mouse click on this particular app icon which I'm pointing out in green color. And the display screen is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case we aspire to appreciate the app using all the screen, we hit that icon. And we'd without a doubt be enjoying the game app in 100% screen setting. To stop the full screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And we just play in standard computer screen setting. Now I am ready to explain you the computer keyboard mapping that is really quite useful. This step we may be ready to operate the game application more effortlessly. The first point is to mouse click this app icon. It's now time to get the appropriate configuration settings. I will let the standard settings, though if you need to improve it, you can easily achieve it with no problem. I take this moment to comment that in some cases, when commencing the game app a black screen occurs, if it is like that and you experience the black display and the emulator fails to begin, I propose a plausible alternative. We would browse here, to the cogwheel. In the emulator options, in the advanced choice we have got lots of screen resolutions. This is the image resolution we have at the moment decided on automatically therefore we must select any of these other graphic resolutions, for example that one listed below. We select it and next please click save. It may require us to restart your emulator and when rebooted, likely the emulator will launch and the black display will vanish. Obviously, the emulator is absolutely in our language. In some cases it occurs that your emulator is presented in the wrong language, such as, in Japanese. And consequently to set it up in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. And right here throughout additional options, we just click the language drop down. We should select the language we want, German, Japanese, and so on. As soon as the language is determined, we would save, the emulator will restart, and also the game app. Next time we start it, would also be in the specified language. At this moment, there's another element that we need to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive an email reporting that a brand new electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will likely ask us if we're the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Of course, we must not be troubled, considering the fact that emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. And to identify which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And we go here to the, model, choice. And there we notice that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that video tutorial. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was informative. If that is so, bring it a superb like, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, issues or ideas. 
let them in the comment area below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams every once in a while, you have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Click on any of the training videos that are showing up on the listing of videos to watch and see you in the future training videos. Bye!